hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and we're featuring another youtuber that i watch and i know i'm telling you she is something else her name is sunday omni sunday omni she's a youtuber she is also a plus size model i think she's canadian and she is from nigeria as well but honey she be on it doggone it go check her channel out and you'll see what i'm talking about majority of her channel talks about that man right there honey she called him dirty simon excuse me dirty simon gabadio all right she do not like this man from the sole of his feet to the top of his head okay to the top of his skull she can't stand this man child she say he is not what he appears to be now he's supposed to be a native of benin nigeria or somewhere like that and she was saying girl don't nobody know him don't nobody know him over there in nigeria nigeria where the more fluent nigerians are they don't know him and he's trying to get to know some heavy hitters over there by using more than likely the porsche's um notoriety because of course everybody that comes over to the states and they recognize certain celebrities from the tv shows and outlets of that nature they say porsche is more popular over there in nigeria than simon is so that's what she's saying now this young lady over here to the left of my own uh, screen is tamara hall or tamara hall show and she interviewed Portia's ex-husband, and he wasn't talking too flattering about her. And I'm like, Portia, why would you go on a outlet of a show that totally dissed you? I mean, you're not going to be able to make all of the outlets or the uh, media, um, what do you call it, outlets to pretty much do your book or promote your book. But go to the ones that seemingly like you and want to do a good job with um helping you out with your publication of your book and getting the word out there but why in the hell would you go to tamarin Tam uh the tamarin hall show girl did you not know that she was like falling out with some of her castmates or not castmates but uh, behind the scenes people her executive producer left her and, and some other people did too they said she's a horror to work for but you know i I don't know you know i don't know but yeah she was over there on the tamara hall show and tamara hall has some journalistic type features about herself and she made portia williams look like a fool once again i said like, god dog Girl, how many places you gonna go? And this supposedly supposed to be Gabadia's house. And I don't know. She was supposed to be going out. As y'all saw, y'all didn't see. If y'all didn't watch the, <coughs> the first season, first episode of her, her new show. <coughs> Portia Family Matters, honey, child. That joker. Now, he can get dressed up to go get some dinner, uh, eat dinner. But... He can't go. And why he got that ring on him? It seemed like that's a wedding band. Was that from a previous um photo when he was married to Fallon? Because why is he having a marriage? Why he have a marriage uh, a ring on, guys? But, honey, see, he don't even look good in no suit, do we? I'm like, man, he look better. And he look older there. And he was messing with Fallon at that time. So, uh, I don't know. He just, I don't know. He's a cheater, y'all. He's a cheater. And some Sunday Omni produces receipts over on her show, as well as Tisa Tales, if y'all ever watch her as well. She's another YouTuber. But this man just look all like old Frumpy Dumpy, don't he? I don't know what Portia see in him. I know she needs to stop using her sex appeal, her sexual assets. And get with the real deal. She got a daughter. She got PJ to worry about. And she going around here acting like she 20. 19. 22. 23. No girl. You're a grown ass woman. And Fallon is acting more grown than you are Portia. And for what is being told on Sunday Omni's uh, channel. She's saying the Nigerian culture is pretty upset with you. 
Because you're going around giving everybody a headache. Not just the blacks. Not just the whites. And uh, let me see. Not just the Latinos, girl. You're getting on the Nigerian uh, people now. Okay, you going around here on Tamara Hall's show trying to generalize that group of people. The Nigerians, girl. Trying to say that's their culture. That's this, that, that. You ain't to research that culture, girl. You don't know what you're talking about. You're going on hearsay. And you're supposed to be his queen over there in Nigeria. Girl, that man make you look all look all kinds of foolish. He ain't with you on your book tour. He barely was with you on your birthday. He ain't defending you when it comes to this social media stuff. He putting out there that you got with him instead of being in both of their DMs hoping they resolve their divorce or this, then, and third. You over there in his DM. And he telling the world, I didn't check for Portia. Portia checked for me. Then you sitting over here and got his tit tattoo. Eeyore. It sounds like that uh, donkey on it, y'all. <laughs> From, what was it? I can't think of it. Was it Pooh Bear? Eeyore. Cha and Lawrence know she know more than what she telling. And hopefully she'll get into it the next episode of, of Porsche's Family Values that's coming on this Sunday. I ain't nowhere in the world I would be with a man and he can't protect me in social media. He's stalling stuff. And the only thing he's saying we got in compatibility ranges is we both like to party hard. Child, please. He need to be sitting himself down somewhere. And I tell you, I don't know. I don't know where we're going with this. But poor sure, honey, every time I see this man, and I don't be searching for him, but when he come across my social media feed... He's always in Costa Rica. Now, what did Costa Rica got out there? Why he's not behind his desk, moving and shaking, pushing a pen and a piece of paper, or on a computer doing what he need to be doing? Why is he going around here taking all these photo ops and trying to make like him and Dennis are friends when, ooh, it's plainly being shown they are not friends, Okay. I would want to say they arch enemies towards each other. But you on Tamara Hall show trying to make like you know exactly what the Nigerian culture is all about. Ain't got not now background or book or somebody in that culture to tell you the comes and goings. Because evidently Simon don't know. He go by what his people told him. All right, but he don't really know too much about the culture himself because he was more of a Westerner. He was trying to be more Americanized than anything else. Sitting around him, got five kids, and, and, and talking about he take care of his kids. Well, you supposed to be taking care of your ex-wives as well. They are part of the package, but I didn't hear him bluntly say that. Okay, and then he kind of just like Cordell, sitting out there talking about, I, I, I did that. But you know, Cordell little look good in a suit. And his little leisure, casual business sit looking self. He just arrogant as hell. And his sexuality was placed in uh, conversation as a conversation piece as well. And Portia more so alluded to him uh, about him that, you know, everything wasn't looking as kosher as you thought it was. Or what you think he is. It may not be that situation. She was dropping hints. Dropping hints about her ex-husband. Could have been bisexual. See what I'm saying? Because he never wanted to get her no child. He never really was interested in sex. Or just fooling around. This is what Portia said now. That was on TV. She told us. But she can't say nothing about this joker. And from what Sun Sunday Omni says, her group of people who she taught with in her culture and in the Jurian culture, saying that Simon may have a spell on Miss Portia. Yeah, he might been, oh, he call it conjuring up something and putting a spell on her to make her love him. And she don't even know why she love him. And I'm like, I'm trying to figure that out myself. I can barely look at him. He don't he's not easy on the eyes, I can tell you that. And I ain't gonna say I'm no beauty queen myself, okay? But uh uh he looks pure evil. And you can just tell in his eye demeanor his whole demeanor, he ain't trustworthy. And then he sat up there and told Porsche, you know, when they were dining, uh, before that show ended. Uh, the episode ended on her first premiere show. He come in here, cheek. 
He ain't cheat with Fallon. I'm like, but you did. You sitting up here day, uh, Portia before y'all, uh, divorce decree is is uh, shown to be, uh, legit. Like y'all are no longer married. So actually, you were cheating. You were cheating with Portia. Stupid. But that went over Portia head too. And you know, R- Riri always said, "You better think, think." About what you're trying to do to me, yeah. Think, think, think that you might gonna let yourself be free, hey. But I like that R E S P E C T. Find out what it means to me. R E S P E C T. Take your T C P. Suck it to me, 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 suck it to me. Yeah, honey. We weren't playing about that respect, and that's something. Simon Gabadi is not giving Portia. And I'm disappointed. I'm so disappointed. I'm like, girl, if you don't sit your mind down somewhere, you are a mother. Okay? And you do have a mother that's still living that I am dearly disappointed in. That she can't get you together. That she can't bring you out your spell. Out whatever nonsense bubble you are in to say this man right here. Is he dancing on top of furniture? Is he dancing on top of the table? I'm like. I hope he don't break no bone. I hope he don't slide too fast and hit that flow. Because he's going to be a straight up hot ass mess. Now, what, you going to be a caregiver to Mr. Goodbody that's in a wheelchair? Can't get around. Don't know who he is. You going to be his advocate. You going to be his caregiver portion. Because that would have said it looked like to me. I mean, that man looks strange as hell. And you look kind of wicked yourself right there. So, I don't know. Y'all might be a match match made in earth, okay? I ain't going to say heaven because I ain't where it look like y'all need to be going anyway. But it's my thoughts, boy. It's my thoughts, girl. But that man look crazy as hell. Look at him. Y'all look at him. Okay? And she think her assets is going to get her further on where she needs to be. And I'm like, girl, what are you trying to be? trying to be a madam you're trying to be a call girl what's the deal bill okay because evidently you ain't being lifted up on the higher power that you want once confessed that you knew okay girl you're slumming down now like um riri's breast they done went all the way low and she can't pull them up for nothing to save her life if that's what is that where we going and then someone said Portia had unfollowed Simon. I mean, the rumors, the hits, the negativity just keeps circling around these two. But mainly Portia, because we don't know nothing about Simon Gabbardia. We don't know him from a can of paint. Okay, we don't know him from a can of paint. All right. But I don't hear nothing but bad things about him. Bad things. Fallon said bad things. His other three wives said bad things. But yet Portia seems to see and only wants to see the good in Simon. But I'm like, if he didn't want to let his kids take a retreat because they had gotten so overwhelmed with life, I'm sure. And the mother wanted to just take them out for an outing for about two or three weeks because it seems like he always on somebody's boat smoking a cigar and chilling in the wind why can't he take them kids but then you know the wife if he's supposed to be a part of all this wealth and if they can afford to have so many wives and so many children then it shouldn't have been a well a drop in the bucket for him to write a check or let her use his car and they just go somewhere for a month, chill, come back, rejuvenate, reju- uh, rejuvenated and get themselves together. But he was like, Portia was telling him not to spend his money, which I find it very hard that she can tell Mr. Gabadi anything. Can you bring me an icy? Yeah. So the rumor has it that some Sunday Omni put out that her race of people or her culture of people not everybody because we don't like generalizing over here and she don't like generalizing herself but she knows she has heard she got her ears to the ground in the social media world over there in her culture they are not liking what Portia is doing and saying out there on Thinking she know everything 
she is to be it it all of the Nigerian race when she's not even Nigerian. And Simon, I guess you could call him not Nigerian either because they don't want him. They don't claim him and they just don't talk nicely about him as well. Okay, he's kind of a nobody over there. He's not a somebody. He's not the it factor. He's not surrounding himself around influential elite people over there in Nigeria. No, he know of them, but they know of nothing of him. But they know of Portia Williams from her being some type of socialite here over, over here in the States. You know what I'm saying? But they looking at her solely as a man stealer. A home wrecker, a thought, a prostitute, or you know, just everything that's not, you know, worthy or have any type of um, prestige or elegance towards it. They looking at us sideways, like you gonna go mess with a man that nobody really respects in the culture, and you gonna come over here with the reputation that you stole somebody's uh, husband. Or you didn't completely let the ink dry on the divorce papers before you tried to get with this person. Thank you. Oops. And, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, I'm like, Portia, you, you girl, you doing too much too fast. And your so-called fiance, soon to be husband, he ain't taking up for you. He telling folks that you were chasing him. And he loved the chase. And he's just entertaining you right now. Even Simon sat up there and said that the only thing that y'all... And i never forget that. And I keep talking about it to my last breath. Or anytime I want to do a story on Portia about this man. He said the only thing they had in compatibility. And they were made for each other was partying. Okay. Other than that, they have no relevance towards one another. Okay. I'm like, What? No, this eager didn't say this about you. And you sat up there and took it. And God knows what else he says behind your back. But then he says it in front of your face. In front of millions of viewers. Okay. Saying, oh, Portia, she found me. I didn't find her. Okay. She know what she wants. She see the uh, the mystique I'm, 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 I'm bringing out. Okay. She see what she got. I got money. Look at me. Look at me. That's what Simon is pretty much telling us. Want us to believe about Miss Portia. Hell, we already knew Portia was a thought. We already knew she liked that limelight. And she was definitely serving and having jobs to make her stay in the limelight that she was accustomed to. That she put herself into. You see what I'm saying? By being a part of Ratchet TV. But, you know, quiet as a kept lot. So I'm going to speak it out. They said Portia didn't want to work. She wanted to be a housewife. She want to be able to ball and, and, and do what she need to do, but she don't want to work. I said, well, damn. Man, I thought she was having fun with all her uh, per radio personality gig on Dish Nation. And then she was doing the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Not, not really a big deal. You know, you roll out the bed and, and get into character on what she has to do on Real Housewives of Atlanta. It's, it's not really a big deal. You know, you just have to be ratchet in a sense okay do your alter ego and, and play that part but honey simon has always been a cheater he don't said and told portia he's a cheater and she still want to be in good graces with this man i don't understand so i don't know i'm about like something that they might got some some potions on portia okay but she better wake up by that smell and smell the coffee for he we don't took everything from her and she be looking ass out and she really going to be homeless, going to have to go stay with her mama again. All right? And ain't nobody going to feel sorry. Hell, we don't feel sorry for Portia now because Portia is damn near. But she's 14 years old. Okay? She just celebrated her birthday. So, ain't no sense of her going around here acting is crazy. So, she better watch out. Going to get double whammy. Going to sit up there. Simon going to leave her. He ain't going to have nothing else to deal with her because she already messed with the culture. All right, and people ain't liking what she's doing, saying she knows about it, and it's widely accepted that that culture of men they're gonna cheat anyway, as long as they got the money to foot the bill, and they they just gonna be loose with their dick, and they just gonna be you know waywardly and go get whatever they want, but as long as they can take care of their children, they fine. See, no, they supposed to take care of their wives and their children, Portia, but just like every culture out there. 
you have the new age and you have the old heads that want to you know go into what they were taught and it just plays out in their lifetime like that then you had a new heads they were like i don't like that i don't like those set of rules i want to be kind of monogamous i want to have one wife and they're gonna have one husband you know what i'm saying that's how we gonna rock this thing everybody don't believe in doing things totally where it once was doing it that's why we have so many we have the x generation we have the millennials we have the baby boom you know every age group has its own tag of how it gets down in society so for you to sit up there and make a blanket statement that's going to cover a whole group of people saying well all nigerian men and, and women they if they got the money now they can cheat they can do whatever they want to they can have 57 800 wives or husbands just all they can take care of them and you know that's not necessarily true that's a blanket statement that's generalizing a whole group of people when that's not how all of them feel so we got to be careful when we say like all the black race they like chicken you know no i know some black people that don't care for chicken uh if it was the last meal they had to eat they would rather starve so no black people all don't like chicken okay all black people can't dance okay i can't dance i mean i go do a little two-step and a little shake of my booty you know whatever but you know that's just a myth that's a stereotype so we got to be careful and when portia went on tamara hall show saying you know this is what they men do that can afford to do it no that's what a cheetah does portia now you can group those people in the cheetah group yeah that's some of their mo's that's something they do but then they looked it down upon as well so what if Simon goes out here, get you, get somebody else, or whatever, and he be able to take care of y'all and y'all keep y'all in the same lap of luxury that he afforded y'all to be in, but then he die, he makes no provisions for y'all. Y'all gonna be ass out. So my thing is, no. If you want to live a monogamous life and have a relationship with one man and you being his one woman, then you need to tell him that this is how this is going to be. If we need to write it in a contractual agreement or something. Because if somebody falls and they go to the wayside, then I need to get paid. And I'm going to get the hell out of here. I'm going to get the hell out of this situation, this marriage. And like Fallon did. But she actually was married to him. You're not married to him and you're playing house already. Tell me you're going to buy a house. Like, damn, girl. Why you always want the thing before the other thing needs to come why you always want to give them the milk the gravy the, the whole damn enchilada before you get what you need which is a contractual agreement saying you're going to take care of me the rest of your life from death to us part and i have to do the same to you you know it's an equal type of um contractual agreement we're making towards one another because that man looking at you like you crazy he gonna still continue to do what he want to do and he's gonna put it on his culture or how his parents got down or his dad or his granddad and that's how he gonna get down now you want to be bothered with somebody like that that train of thought of thinking you go ahead Porsche, because you, you you need to go look for that train that's running on the ground that's going to take you to freedom land okay that's that where you need to go if you're going to buy that crock of shit that he's selling you you know that that's too much Porsche. that's too 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 much and then you sitting up here and buying him five business suits with your hard hard earned money that could have been on pj's education or something pj related girl man please now honey, that and i'm sure what's swinging down between his legs ain't that good that's gonna make you act all kinds of foolishness out here that we're seeing you doing you're doing it on your show and it's not very it's not a good look i'm just gonna tell you that it's not a good look portia all right he's making you look very bad and they're editing him out to look very good and no and having no sense too i mean they're not showing a bad light in him but it's like he's this jet setter that happened to have kids but he have other people to take care of them he just financially take care of those needs okay but he's not the nurturing person he's not there trying to give advice you know he's he's not that in-house at home type of dad he got to be with a lime like that almost as if he's living a bachelor type of lifestyle 
And like Riri say, respect is everything. Okay? And if you can't give me that, you got to go. So, Portia, where is your backbone, baby? Where is your backbone? Is it engraved in gold and silver and as much money you can throw in your bank account off this man? Because it seems like you're putting more into him financially, okay, and mentally than he's putting into you. Girl, please. That's all I have for this video, girl. I just had to introduce Sunday on Omni. She's a plus. She, I don't know if she is now, but she was was a plus size model, and she's written several books. Yes, she's an author, honey. And you know, go check her out because I'm telling you, she has slews and slews of videos and commentary done on Dirty Simon Gabbadi, huh? She call him Dirty Simon Gabbadi. She don't even have his face on her pictures no more when she's describing him and talking about him. She has this cartoon character, some old gruff, you know how I said Billy Goat Gruff. <laughs> She got a Billy Goat Grub picture of this man plastered on his face whenever she's talking about him. And he kind of mimics that darn cartoon character with that picture right now. I mean, that, that look like your granddaddy, your grandpa, don't it? Child, trying to give you a lecture on business etiquette or how you should could be conducting yourself. But he's sitting up there telling Portia, party, party, let's party up. And yeah, baby. Oh, uh, you know, my dad had two wives. My granddad had 25 wives. So I should have that at least, you know, at least a side chick. Like, who taught like that? You know what I'm saying? Not no older business, man. I'm like, ugh. Portia, what have you got yourself a hold to? Break it loose, shake it loose on it. Just like we trying to cover up Riri and them breasts falling down. We need to cover you with the blood of Jesus, Portia. Because, girl, you done lost your whole identity of who you are. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for this video. Like and love, we got to have more. And I'm so tired of Portia. I want to talk positive about Portia, but she's not doing anything to make me be able to say. Okay? One way or the other, I blame Diane, too. I, 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 you know, it's almost like... You can't be the dead horse like Porsche for so long. You got to go to the roots of the matter. And I'm like, Diane, where are you, girl? Where are you? You need to stop all platforms of social media for Miss Porsche. Then she over there talking about R. Kelly and her book. And the comments and going with him. I'm like, girl, that's just too, too, too much. Okay? I hope R. Kelly don't come back and, and, and find you and put a cease and desist on your book, hurting your book sale. So I hope you got permission, girl, to be talking about him. And especially on your show. Or you going around here on social media outlets and doing interviews and you talking about that. That can damage uh, R. Kelly a little further than what he's already damaged. Girl, you don't want to get into no mess like that. Because mm -mm, that's what you use in his name to hype up your books. Because it sure ain't because that little dude right there. Oh, Papa Smurf. Chai, please. But I'll see y'all next video. That's all I had. Love y'all so much. Y'all like and love my videos. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Share my videos and like my videos. And I will see y'all next time. Peace out.